Hello everyone, tie two ponytails on either side of the hair and then roll these ponytails in on themselves as such. After you have done this, divide the ponytails into two parts. Now add a thread to the ponytails and then add some hair gel to it. Using the thread as one of the sections, begin to braid the hair as such. Add a rubber band to the base. Make a braid out of the other side as well and then add a rubber band at the bottom as well. Make a heart shape out of it. Add a bow to the bottom using a rubber band or a thread as such. Add a bow at the bottom. Next, take a section from the top of the hair, tie a rubber band to it, roll the hair in on itself. Add a decorative bow and a ribbon to the top of the hair. On either side, make a braid out of it, then make a braid at the bottom as well. Roll it upwards. Now, taking the ribbon, wrap it up and then tie it up in the middle to make a bow as such. Next, start off by taking a section on the side, roll the hair in on itself. Then, add a decorative ribbon to the top of the hair. Pull the ribbon through on either end. Then, make two sections out of the hair and then using the ribbon as one of the sections, begin to braid the hair as such. Make a section at the back of the hair as well, make two braids out of it and then lift it up to make a heart shape. At the bottom, tie a ponytail, roll the ribbon portion of it up and then tie a rubber band to it. Spread it out and adjust it accordingly. Next, start off by taking a section off the top of the hair and then tie a rubber band to it. In the middle of this section, add another rubber band and tie them both together. Make a bow-like shape out of it and pin up the sides so that it stays in place. Taking the remaining section of the hair, take a small portion of this and then pull it up through the top. Now, add a rubber band at the base, make two braids out of the top section, join it to two ponytails at the bottom. Now, taking a small section of the bottom ponytails, roll the hair in on itself, lift it up in order to make a bow. Add two decorative clips. Next, take a section from the back as such and leave out a section from the front. Make a ponytail out of the back section and then taking the section from the side, add multiple rubber bands to it. Join it to the back as such and then join it to the upper ponytail. Next, make four braids at the top of the hair, that is the front, and then join two of the braids together. Crisscross two of the braids as such and then interchange them, make them join the ponytails at the bottom. Next, braid the hair at the bottom and roll it up. Divide the hair equal into two parts and then take a small portion from the top of the hair. Now begin to braid the section of the hair. As you progress with this braid, include more and more sections as you progress with it. This is what it should begin to look like. Include sections from both the sides of the hair, except include it from before the central parting for either side. Now, once you reach the middle, this is what it should begin to look like. After this, once you reach the bottom, braid the hair normally, loosen it out slightly, loosening your fingers. This is called a Dutch braid. Now pin up the braids as such on either side after crisscrossing it and make sure that the excess portion of the hair is pulled through the braid as such. Insert it into place. Start off by tying a ponytail, divide this ponytail into two sections. Taking a top section, add another rubber band to it, divide it into two parts, make two braids out of it. Join it underneath the ponytail as such and then lift it up. Next, leave out a section of the hair from the front and braid the section. Now, taking a section from the side, begin to braid this section as well. As you progress with this braid, include more and more sections of the hair into it as such. Now, as you progress with it, continue to do so. Include more and more of the section from before the central parting of the hair and make this U-shaped bend out of it. Now, once you reach the bottom, this is what it should look like. Join all of the braids together as such. Roll the thicker braid, however, and make it look like a flower. Insert it into place as such and add a decorative clip. Thank you for watching.